All right, by now, I expect everybody understands just how important it is to have a good pair of sunglasses to protect your eyes. They're not just a fashion statement. They are an essential piece of equipment when you're in the out of doors. Doesn't mean they don't have to look good at the same time. Can't you have both? I think you can. So I have these pair of Arshop glasses from the Olife company through Obuy that I want to share with you. If you're interested, keep watching. All right, just before we get started, I want to thank Obuy, the company that sells Olife and Onife and is related to Olight. I think everybody knows that by now. They sent me these sunglasses so that I could share them with you. All right, so quickly, I'm just going to go over a few of the key features of these glasses. I'll provide all the information I'm going to give you in the video description, of course, as well as the links. But more importantly, I want to share my experiences in wearing them. All right, we're going to go over the glasses in a little bit of detail, but not a whole lot because, uh, well, you know, sunglasses, they're a very personal thing. It, they either you like wearing them or you don't. But what I can go over is the key features for these things and again, demonstrate wearing them and tell you what I like about them. But the exact sizes, the measurements, all the different measurements, that you may be interested in knowing, I'll put all that in the video description below. So before we look at the glasses, came with a nice microfiber cloth bag drawstring at the top for keeping it in. Of course, you know, these double as cleaning for the glasses so that you can keep them clean without scratching them. So what I'll do is I'll just break this down into two components. First off the lenses. Number one, Yes, they are polarized. I don't think I'd wear a pair of glasses now that are not polarized, especially anytime I'm out near the water or anywhere else driving a car in the winter where it glares off of ice anytime that you might get glare especially, but uh, I think all the time it's worth having polarized lenses. So these are fully polarized. Now these have a neutral gray tint to them. And by the way, this is not the only color or style available through Obi. And uh, when you go to the link, you'll be able to see if there's something else that appeals to you more maybe than this does. The light transmission through these lenses is 15.4%, which is reasonable. Not really, really dark. I have darker lenses. They're the brown style and they're great for sunnier days maybe, but these seem to be working very, out very well for me. So the lenses have a two millimeter thick polycarbonate material, which is rated for not to block out 99.9% .9 of all UV rays and at the same time be highly impact resistant because, you know, that's another thing. If you're walking through the woods or uh, if you're biking especially, the chances of getting a stick in the eye is always possible. So having a pair of glasses that are impact resistant or fall off your face and hit the ground, you don't want to ruin your glasses. Interestingly, they have three layers of water and oil repellent coating and that wor works to repel sweat and body oils and dirt and grease and fingerprints. Kind of interesting. I hadn't seen that on any other sunglasses. They may be offering that, but uh, it's nice to know that they are in these. They also have three layers of a hard coating to make the lens more scratch resistant. Is that true? Is that going to last up over time? Well, it certainly has over the three months that I have been wearing these. There's not a scratch on them. There's no mirrors. There's no discolorations or anything. So I'll have to take them at the word that all of these features are working to keep the lenses in top condition. So let's move on to the frames. Now, these specific set are known as an eight base lens curvature. So these are quite a strong wraparound, as you can see, and I like that style. Uh, it it lets, out, lets in the least amount of light from the sides and gives you still maximum visibility so there's nothing in the corner of your vision that's blocking or distracting you from what may be there. So good, very good curvature there. Lots of coverage here around. Durable, flexible, lightweight, TR90 frame with spring hinges. So yeah, TR90, that's the material that all the top end brand sunglasses are using for a good reason. It is very flexible. You could almost, uh, I'm not going to try it just to prove it, of course, but you could almost tie these into a figure eight knot and have them spring back. So my experience has been if you sit on them a little bit and not totally drop your whole body weight on them, they spring right back into shape. So they've been, well, you can see they do have quite a bit of flex, which means that they are going to withstand quite a bit of use. I won't say abuse. Here's the other thing about them. And this was kind of cool. 
because I don't have it on some of my other even better sunglasses. I shouldn't say better, more expensive sunglasses. And spring-loaded hinges. So they work to adapt themselves to big heads like mine. So these will fit, I think, a good number of people because they just spring open and then will put some tension against the side of your head without being overly... Um, how should I say, out pressure points up at the temple part right up here. And now let's move up to the frame, to the temple piece here. Right at the edge or right at the far end behind the ear, there is a, uh, a rubberized material. So it does have, help to grab on and keep them from sliding forward on both of them, of course, as well as in the nose. Now, it's not a, a, an adjustable nose piece, but it does have the rubber. So it, again, it does help to keep them on your face and make them comfortable to wear. Little feature, I don't have any way of making use of it right now, but there are holes at the very end of the temples so that you can put a type of a lanyard or a keeper around your neck. And I think that would be really great if you are out fishing, kayaking, or on the water anywhere. And, uh, you know, just so they don't drop off. I suppose even if you're somewhere that you just need to drop the glasses for a half a second so that you can uh, see what you're doing. And, uh, you know, you need your hands as well. You can drop these around your neck. So a good feature. Uh, yeah, I will, we'll say that about it. I don't have a lot of experience with that because I don't have anything. I guess I could put a piece of uh, two millimeter paracord through and, and have it work like that. And I may do that yet. Okay, so what do I think of them? Do I like them? Well, I, let me just back the camera up. I'll put them back on. I'll tell you my thoughts. Okay, I know you don't often see me wearing sunglasses, but trust me, I do. Every time I go out, I've always had my sunglasses. When I get into the deep woods, the foliage and the, and the uh, coverage above usually is enough that I don't need to wear them, but as soon as I get down to the lake's edge, I want to have these glasses on, of course. And again, I also don't like wearing sunglasses when I'm recording. I like you to be able to see my face, but obviously I need to do this for this video. So what are my thoughts on these? I've been wearing them again for three months. These have been the only sunglasses I've had since they were sent to me, or the only ones I've been wearing since they were sent to me. I love them. I think they are perfect. There is coverage all the way around. I cannot see, when I try to look over the corner of my eyes, I cannot see, I can see my finger here, and that's about where the frame is, but it is in no way obstructing my corner vision at all, which I think is important for a pair of sunglasses that you want to wear and still be able to see everything around you, of course. I have full coverage, just enough of a gap underneath the bottom of the lenses that there's still airflow. Now, having said that, it's really steamy out today. It's like 98% humidity and in the high 70s or 80s Fahrenheit, 25 to 30 degrees, it's still steamy, right? And, and nothing you're going to do is going to prevent that from happening. Maybe taking my hat off will help. So I am getting a little bit of steam happening right now inside of the glasses. That's not unexpected. Uh, comfortable. What I like about these is not only the fact that I don't notice any pressure or feel any pressure around the back of my ears, is that they don't slide off. And I've had some good sunglasses that when you start to perspire or you get a little oily on the face after being out all day, that if you lean forward, they start to work their way forward. These aren't them. These ones seem to hold their position very well on my face. I'm not constantly pushing them to get them back on my face. Yeah, overall, I think these are a good pair of sunglasses. No, a great pair of sunglasses, especially considering the price. Right now, they're uh, on the O by website for $39.99. Now that is US dollars, so it's a little bit more Canadian. But considering all the features that these sunglasses have, uh, I think they are well worth looking at for sure. Well worth the money. Good pair of sunglasses. Yeah, I'm quite impressed. I wasn't sure when I got them because like most people, you look at them online, you say, I don't know. Do I take a chance? Well, they sent them to me, so I could afford to take a chance. Would I have taken a chance if I had to buy them? I don't know if I would have or not. Now having them, I'd recommend them. I'd buy them again, and, uh, or I'd buy them the next time if I have to replace them because I can speak to the quality of these, the fit, the finish, the construction, the engineering. Yeah, it's all here. This is a good pair of sunglasses. All right, that's enough. That's all I wanted to share with you was the pair of sunglasses from O Life sold through O Buy, sister company to O Light. Yeah, I know, it's a bit of a long rant there to go on about that. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section, please. I'll put all the information I have in the video description. Until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.